So right now we got uh, we got a bunch of the kids going through the training right now. They're working with Randy, and uh, in a moment we're gonna split them up into two different groups. We're gonna have one group come on inside here, and they're gonna be going through everything that you see inside the garage here, and the other group is gonna be outside. About halfway through the program, we're gonna swap. Everybody inside is now gonna go outside to play in the equipment, and everybody outside is gonna come back inside, and I'll go through with that other group, everything that you've seen here today. Doing some learning. I don't know, I liked it today. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to do, you know. Got to use one of these big machines out here. This is my first time using it. Um, I'm pretty happy that I got to do this. I would definitely come back for a second time or a third time to do it again, just to say that I did it. Uh, I'm definitely gonna be looking into more of these professions in the end of this. I really liked it. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. It's a once in a lifetime cool learning experience. Yep. Definitely something you don't get to deal with any other day. Yeah, I would definitely, definitely recommend this to anybody else who wants to learn how to use one machinery. It's not as hard as it looks. We just changed up our rounds. So the outdoor came inside, uh, whatever. It's the, Again, the students are doing great. Uh, you know, it was really cool as we did a video. It was a day in the life of a diesel technology student at North Dakota State College of Science. So when the last student right there was talking to me about that, about this whole idea. So uh, if we didn't, we'll link uh, up above or whatever to the video. It's a really cool video about what it's like to go to, to school to be a diesel mechanic. So anyways, I gotta get back out there with this because Trong's yelling at me. got uh, Jeremiah and I got Jose and they're asking me a bunch of questions right now but they're doing really really good they're on the wheel loaders and they're learning they've never been on them before so uh, Jeremiah's got his first scoop he does have a Steelers hat on I did let them know that they just lost uh, this week and gave a 16 point deficit I did that on purpose to throw off his concentration to see if he can still concentrate in a wheel loader so far so good take students out here and um, expose them to some career industry that there's a high demand where they can make a good living. So this is our third year out here and the kids by far think this is the favorite thing that they do. Um, we get to get out there and drive the equipment. We get to see what it might be like to work on the equipment and so they just really get a taste of what it might be like to work in this industry and that's our goal is to expose these kids to that. Why do we do that? So you know, so you know what you guys can better to help us. Safety issues, I mean. Most people end up running creative jobs. I mean, people make great money when they were showing you the, the amounts that people make. Did you guys make sure you got your uh, like, 
Adam, does Adam know that Domino's is hiring? Okay, that was awesome. Great group, we just debriefed, they just headed out. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, please spread the word about our different heavy equipment camps that we do. Uh, subscribe to our channel, like it, let Adam look at us awkwardly behind. Adam, do you have any comments? Thanks for watching. That was good right there.